to show you how to take a team rope or just an old rope and turn it into some tie strings. So typically, uh, team ropes are between 30 and 35 feet, and so just out of one single rope, you can get anywhere from you know four to six tie strings that are nine to 10 feet in length. So don't ever throw away a good team rope or a rope for that matter. If you're looking at a rope and trying to decide whether it's a good candidate for tie strings, any rope technically is, but if you're gonna be tying down bigger critters, maybe something that's stiffer or a three strand that's got more body, that's probably the better idea. If you're gonna be tying down calves or just using it to tie gate shut, any, any rope will work. So this is a four strand. You can tell pretty quickly as soon as you start to unravel one. What I like to do is cut the hondu off and then start working that way or or cut the, the back knot off and start working that way. But what I'll do first is measure out how long of a tie string I want. I recommend going no shorter than nine feet. And so a wingspan, if you're a six foot person, that's about six feet. And then I go another arm. So that is between nine feet, nine and a half, somewhere in there. If anything, go longer because there's nothing worse than having too short of a tie string. Now, in other videos, we talked about the need to have a serrated blade. This would be a time to do that. If I had a smooth blade, this would cut, but it would take longer. So I'm gonna take the serrated side and really get in there a couple times. And that almost went clean through. And then if for some reason you're still having a problem, you can flip that over, do that again, and get through there. If you're making a lot of these, it might make more sense to get like a, uh, oh, a hedge lopper or something like that that can, can cut that down. So I'll re-show you how long that was. Here's six feet. And then here's another three, three and a half. So that's probably about nine feet. So what you do is once you get it cut, you're gonna unravel it and this is gonna become two tie strings. So I'm just gonna start that process and you want these things to go in pairs. So you want these two guys to go, go together and these two guys to get, go together. So you'll just start unraveling. And when you see this at first, they're kind of paired together. They'll start to twist back together to make your tie string. So you don't really have to work too hard to get that to work. But here we go. Um... So now that you've spun them out, you have two tie strings and you have to decide the best way to finish them off. Obviously, if I left them frayed at the end here, they would just unravel. So this is a quick and easy way that I've seen people do it before. Um, no heat required, anything like that. Take electrical tape and you can just start right here at the end and get this real tight and go up the rope as far as you want to. I found over time that if you keep these tie strings, this, you know, in temperature, uh, cold temperature will start to unravel. So I like to heat and spin them together. And so let me just get this guy tidied up. I'll just show you on one end of this. But what I'll do is I'll take a blowtorch. You can just take a normal lighter and I'm gonna get a little flame going and I'm going to heat these two ends up. I'll shut this off real quick. So this is nylon. And so the more heat you put on here, this will actually turn into a liquid. So you need to be careful about where you're doing this. If you drop this on carpet, it's gonna stay there. So I like to put a glove on. I'm putting this one on backwards and I heat it over this glove. And then when I'm ready to twist, I'll also twist it with this glove. So it all stays contained right here. So turn that blowtorch on. And I'm just gonna try to keep this moving pretty fast so I don't overheat anything. What you wanna see is those edges get glossy and shiny. You see it smoking there. Too much heat isn't necessarily gonna ruin it, but you just use as little as you need to get this to happen. So you can see that kind of looks like cotton candy almost. Okay, I'm gonna heat it again. And all I'm doing is keeping the same twist that it has. And I'm just pinching it between my two fingers and twisting it together and it'll look like that, okay? I might come back to that. The one thing you'll want to do is blunt any sharp edge like that. I'll just do that and leave that alone. And then I would repeat that same process on the other side. This is gonna be warm for a little while, but what this does is it, it basically welds these two together. I like to make mine go a little bit higher up, so kind of a bigger weld, but that will keep those two together for as long as that doesn't fray out. Sometimes what I'll also do to make sure that nothing frays around this is I will super twist this. So I'll do, use my handy dandy Leatherman here and I will super twist this. 
so it's really tight. And then I'll come back on the heat and make all of this kind of weld together. You have to be careful here because if you go too hot, it'll actually kick these out and fray. So this is real fast work here. Okay, so I'm gonna super twist this. So tighter than it normally is. And then all I'm gonna do is do this over the heat just a little bit. And that'll keep this from fraying and want to stay twisted the way that it is, okay? And so I could probably hold that the whole time, but now that's pretty hard and all of that is cinched together. So that's a good way to end that right there and that'll last absolutely forever. So I would repeat that process on this side where it's trying to untwist, I'll just naturally twist it back together. Don't overwork it, but you need to make sure it stays together. And I would heat and do that. So that is one way to finish that. Another is to take these ends and tie a Turk's head knot. In another video, I'll show you how to do that. You'll tie that knot, which in theory will stay hopefully longer than this. The only issue with that is it'll be kind of a ball at the end. And if you're tying stuff really fast, that might kind of hang up. And so sometimes it makes sense to have a Turk's head knot at the end of that, and sometimes it might not. So in another video, I'll show you how to finish a tie string off just like this with a Turk's head knot. But if you like this video and want to see more videos just like this, please like this video and subscribe to the Startup Cowboy channel.